What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal and in this episode uh, we have pushed west um, out of our territory here at Yerevan to smash a... I think it's effectively the only remaining Ottoman forces in the region because the Austrians have taken Ankara so they've only got uh, Baghdad and Jerusalem left in their empire. So they are our next target we will destroy these troops and force their men effectively further into Austrian territory. Yes, the objective is to secure uh, Damascus and to secure Baghdad. And then kind of figure out how we want to unpick this puzzle. See if there are any members of the enemy uh, coalition that would be more, uh, more suitable to attack than others. See if we can pick off some of the smaller nations. Uh, before we end up having to annihilate everyone. Actually, I think a good op a good option will be to take out um, Spain. They are still holding strong. But before I get too ahead of ourselves, let's drop my heavy horse guard artillery and my foot artillery up on the hill up here. Because the enemy is incredibly depleted, I think we just need to advance and put them under pressure. I've got my howitzers behind the line. I have to fire round shot for now. Make sure my light cavalry sharpshooters are not on fire at will. They do have reinforcements coming in, so that could screw us up if they come in from behind. But they shouldn't, and they didn't. So their reinforcements are coming in from the left. Push my line forward. Let my artillery shoot at whatever they like. They're probably going to try hit the enemy artillery. The reinforcements coming in from that back corner, that's okay. Let's maybe run my infantry. We need to push up a knockout there. Artillery emplacements. So I'm probably actually going to get my artillery to focus on other targets. Sharpshooters can get on top of this hill rapidly. I'll drop one to fire at will. Engage those horsemen. So the artillery's coming. Out. Okay, so let's push a couple of units through the town. This line move up to point blank range. The cavalry push the flank. I don't care, those are Bashi Bazooks. You men drop into square, that's okay. Complete the charge into the Bashis. Cavalry push around. Cavalry's broken. Let's get these men out of the square, get them to push up to here. Make sure my artillery is engaging appropriate targets. from the pikemen form line push up 
So run my Lancer Guards away. Draw the pikemen with them, then I'll counter charge them and that will be the end of them. Grenadiers charge the Delhi horsemen. Rockets are inbound again on the two positions. Yeah, Lance has charged them from the front. Gracier charged them from the rear. We're going to sweep up their position. And these, pi these pikemen aren't going to be around for a huge amount, although that charge didn't really work. What I should really do is have my cavalry just run away from them. And get my artillery to go to work on them. No, Grenadier Guards pull back. Allow my other units to give you support. We've got a good number of them with artillery fire. Let's give them a counter charge. Yeah, my light infantry. There we go. That's dealt with them. Oh, it says retarget. Hit these archers. Charge the Nizam infantry, which I'm not quite sure I wanted you to do, but that's, what you, that's what's happened, so. Let's run my troops down to here. Push down, secure the line. Oh, the horse guards, you men are actually. You're the wrong side of a cavalry barricade there, Sonny. Household cavalry. Charge this mysterious cloud. I know there's risks of souls. You guys have just charged. Charge the risks of souls and whoever is in here. Simony. This partial square is being bombarded. Cut down those Nizam troops. There are not many of them at all. Household cavalry are cleaving their way through the enemy. Throw these guys into the mix. Get the light cavalry sharpshooters to go after the enemy artillery. Advance. Get my cavalry over here because it looks like the Zandari horsemen want, are interested in my skirmishes. Go get them, Lancers. Actually, you men chase down the risks of souls, because actually there's a 
couple of units of scallywags on the way. Let's bring everyone up. One unit go for the Semini, Lancer Guards go for the Nizam. One unit of regular infantry, plus some howitzers. Come on you man, get in get into position. Go on, sharpshooters engage that hand mortar unit. you and destroy. So send both my cavalry units into the Nizam, so you can hit them from two different directions. We can screw them up, and they are Household Cavalry and Cursier. Smashy smash. So I think I might just speed this a little bit up because we are not far off of. Yeah, we are going to continue. We won't last very long. All my artillery sees fire. New men finish off the Nizam. It looks like the main thing is going to be this cavalry unit to the north, but they're definitely going to escape. Now it's just this Nizam. Get him. Nice. It says decisive. I wouldn't really say it was decisive. It was a good victory. That's for darn sure. Back you go. Back towards the capital. Uh, we couldn't pursue and just pursue you. Immediately, so let's get replenishing. Let's get repairing. Make sure you're building top tier roads, which you are. Get you guys down here to cover this bridge towards Damascus. I mean, we're storming towards Baghdad after we secured the territory. So let's recruit Sloot to occupy the port. This fleet, this fleet, destroy these Ottomans. And then this fleet, chiefly, go to Europe. We've got one guard fleet, kind of. Lots of troops that were recruited here for invasion purposes. So let's see if we can reconstitute an actual invasion army we can use. Take them, take the sepoy troops. Two Kyosia, and then let's get Camel Mercenary, Native Indian Cavalry. We can get a unit of Gurkhas. Yeah, you guys, well, you're waiting for it. Actually, you're just a massive block of infantry. You just come down south. We are probably going to probably going to convert a large. Well, we're going to create some guard armies. That's for sure. Make sure all these guys keep their orders to push up. Just keep on advancing up. Okay, I think that's effectively everybody. 
So you're ready to run. You're waiting. You're on your way. This infantry come down here to Mysore. Okay, let's see then to That's the cavalry, heavy cavalry that's going to the army west of Tbilisi. I mean, Austria is going to be our last, it's going to be our main large enemy. I mean, we can push in Italy. We've got Italy, we've got Spain, Genoa, and we've got Milan to destroy. So those are our, those are going to be some good targets. Large Austrian Navy. That's why I want to boost my naval forces in Europe. Ottomans are on the march again. Ooh, a tasty bit of news. They took Ankara. Which I will then proceed to take off of them. And no, Sweden, I am not interested in any trade or any any deals that involve losing territory. But yes, I think my next move will be to capture northern Italy and destroy Genoa, including their holdouts on the island of Corsica. Then it might be to try and isolate and destroy Sweden. See if Austria goes for that. I mean, Savoy's an option, but Savoy's been such a loyal partner with me since the start of this campaign. I don't really want to attack them. But ideally, they'll be the last ones I attack. I mean, Venice is going to go down, that's for sure. Well, actually, Saxony might be the last one I take out, because Saxony is like a child. They're like my son. <laughs> Sorry, just a bit of squash. All right, letter of demands from Persia. Yeah, now we've destroyed all the universities, they've chilled out. So let's rebuild... Build two church schools to try and spawn some priests. I believe they don't have any madrasas. Actually, your church school already being built. Let's actually build one ch extra church school and one. Well, to be honest, it's kind of irrelevant because we're going to we're going to create church schools in all of our territories anyway. So let's go for. More. You know what? We don't need money. Just go for more church schools. Construction report, Bengal, get the steam power cloth mill, global trading company, Kandahar, you get a seminary, Raipur gets a iron workshop, sweet, it says Persia, it says Persia was, was on strike but now they are not, you can actually tax them. So you're still replenishing. You're very much on the way to Baghdad. Just keep pushing everyone out. You've got the best roads, so there's not a lot we can do about that. Let's get some good upgrades here in Yerevan. So we were originally going to go south towards Damascus, but instead we're going to go head west towards Ankara. The path has been blocked by Ottoman troops. If they want to engage us, that's their business. We do have Herberto Salazar bringing up the rear in support. To be fair, this army. Oh no, you're the wrong stack. It's you guys I was after. You men may make a straight shot towards Istanbul. Get ready to dig in and hold that. You guys are all a bit unnecessary, really. 
lots more naval recruitment. Let's see if we've got anywhere we need to send ships. You're good, you're good. You're good. You're not knackered. But you're good, you're good. You're good, you're good, and that is Sweden. Okay, so you'd send one, two navies to the Straits of Madagascar. Fairly sure no one's... You're not waiting on anyone to complete anything. So let's send one over. I'm not sure where you've come from. It's clear where you've come from. You're very naked. There we go. You men get repairing. You may actually be done as well. Let's get you over to East Africa as well. So it was this one. We had our two four-three-eight ships on the line. Come on, just the one four-three-eight. There we go. Okay, let's make these guys admirals. You guys get some ships as well. Maybe four, something like that. Actually, you guys, because you're just fifth, so you make up one of these fleets, and you only need to recruit one fifth, and you're done. Okay, good. And this heavy fleet is ready. Because they're going to strategically sit in the mouth to block off the Baltics. These thirds can combine. I guess it's a second rate ship on the move. Do something like that. Because you had Genoa, Spain, and Venice, so they're all at war with us. Savoy isn't at war with us, but we're not going to go after them yet. No. Although I think it's an end turn and see what happens, because right now we're not doing anything. Hmm. I would like to kick the the Austrians off of my territory, but I don't think they're going to let me. Okay, let's see it in turn. More troops on the march. Including the troops heading south. Excellent, excellent, excellent. At some point we need to kick the Austrians out of our territory. I don't want them to be able to recapture Ankara. I think once we take Venice proper, all those troops in the Venice has in Greece will become really quite badly depleted because they're not going to have the income to support them all. Interesting. Yes, I will march to your aid, Austria, because this so infrequently happens. I mean, we'd be able to smash them on our own, but Austria themselves has a good number of troops. So let's see what happens. 
I'm fairly sure it's going to be a conclusive victory for us. But we don't know that for sure. So here's the Austrian army. Fourth Light of Swords, Warband, Marines, Line of Marines, Second Line. Yeah, a lot of Swiss Grenadiers. I think they would have been fine without us. Freikorps Line, Swiss Grenadiers, Lanvin Militia. It's going to take us a bit of time to get onto the field, so let's we can watch the Austrians. They have no artillery support, and that's where we will be most useful. So here comes the enemy contingents. They're all combining their troops in the centre. And we have troops over on the flank. My general will be heroically watching from the hill, waiting for his troops to get in. See what? Look, look at this chaos decision making. What? Let's see if you can watch their behaviour change to when they suddenly decide actually we're going to attack. signal the general advance okay my some of my light cavalry let's get into the mix the hussars have been charged by the general's bodyguard but that was a bad move for the Austria for the ottomans Who's coming up first? Line infantry unit. Although there's an artillery marker shown, but I don't know who that'll be. It could be my rocket screwing everything up. Bring up our line, bring up a unit of line. Build up a base of fire from. Ooh, there we go, howitzers. Yes. Both our howitzer units push up. Oh, foot artillery, yes, get up here. Pikemen. I don't want to overly damage myself in this war, in, in this battle. If the Austrians take themselves out, that's fine. Well, not that they're going to take themselves out, they're going to do just fine. Oh, it's the hand mortars firing. <laughs> Chewing out those mercenaries that killed an enemy general. There we go, so now their pikemen. Now their pikemen have marched into range of our guns. They like the look of my general. My general likes the look of them.
I think we've had the Austrian learn it. I've done great. Nope. It's a bit of a scrum down here. But it's Nizam versus... Ooh, militia and line and Swiss Grenadiers. Infantry. And number. Start dropping shells on top of those Janissary Musketeers. Why have you not killed these men yet? He's firing, start dropping shells on the first regiment. Look at that glorious work. Sort of the guy there. Another them, Genesis Musketeers, hand mortared, and that hand mortar is already wavering. Swiss Grenadiers, you have artillery support and fire support incoming. My gunners are in position, so unlimber. Oh, killed a gunner. Horny oh, man, you're tired. the fire. Keep dropping shells in on these fellas. See they're shooting at us now. Uh-oh. General, get out of here. Infantry, we get just to get ready to face off against these other fellows. There we go. We're going to push away these rambunctious Ottomans. Kill the horsemen. Get as many as you can. Come on, shatter them, run. foot Excellent. they can mop them up let's get my other get my formations back let says provide supporting fire to your own soldiers now let the Austrians clean up these fellows
god, they're gonna fire by rank into the combat. Point blank range! Drop a quick lamp shell on that Nizam unit. There's a lot of them. Yeah, they're engaging in that unit of Nizam attacking us. Quick climb away! There you go, that's effectively remove them as a serious fighting force. Cavalry back over into the action. And there goes the knight. We've held them off quite well. Let's try and go for this block of troops here. Wink. I hope we don't commit any friendly fire incidents. These are going to be our enemies in the future. Ah, they, well, good, here comes the ram shot. Definitely don't kill any Austrians. Oh no, not the Austrians. Okay, let's speed up time because it's just going to be cavalry chewing up. These artillery teams plus whoever makes it, makes it away. In theory, we may not actually want to kill them all because it might give the Austrians time to capture Ankara, which we don't want. But I may as well. Yeah, good job he managed to he decided to stop and fight rather than run go on you men kill them kill them all interestingly we didn't get an option to not fight the battle at all or not chase them down presumably because there is an ally on oh, the other units all the way over here Ooh. Problematic. So here is a great example of the AI's deployment may screw us up. So we can do stuff like that, but it will take time. So let's... I'm going to try this out just to see it. Because I can't... I don't think I can actually shoot them. But if I line up here, say, I can quick climb here and kill them off the edge of the map. Because we are doing damage to them with our foot artillery, but they appear to not be able to get in. So let's just give this a go a minute. I'm fairly sure if I line my troops up here, they won't die in any horrible quick climb accident. I want to get them close, I don't want to unlimber them and then realise, oh, they're in the wrong place and I have to do it again. We are picking at them. With our guns. But I'm fairly sure this will work. I may be able to shoot at them, because they do have... Oh, no, I thought they were actually in, but they aren't. If this doesn't work, I'll just um, cut the recording and finish. Oh, well, I will just finish the battle off screen and let the timer run out because it, we won because it was an attack by the Austrians, which we supported. So we can let them let them go. Okay, so then you, for example, will get out. Let's see, this should work. Something like this should work. Because you can make them break off of the map. 
Won't find wide. Wide short. It kind of worked. We can't actually engage them. There we go. 135. I mean, I wonder, can we actually make them route? Because they are just sat there saying, steady. We have to kill them all. Interesting. I wonder if Quickline will be able to do it. How many's there? Four. Ooh, are they, as we say, are they now about to enter the field? So there's two there, there's two there. Quickline didn't, oh yeah, that's a big miss for Quickline there. Oh, two. Okay, it's just these two now. Hey! There we go, that freed them up. And then now these guys have entered the field. These guys appear to be stuck now, so just aim short. And we can't directly shoot at them because <clears throat> they haven't actually made it onto the field. But I wonder if I can... Now they are actually actually on the map. Can I shoot at them? So this might not be super interesting for you guys, but it's more about <clears throat> this this sort of stuff will happen to you guys in Empire. It just it's just, just what happens. So maybe worthwhile for you guys to see how some of these problems get dealt with. Are you all actually shooting or is yeah you are good. Let's attack ground here. That's 25, 15, 7. <laughs> Let's get one of you guys to start quick climbing back here. There's a little cluster of. I should get two of you guys to quick climb. Actually, is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. One guy left. There we go. Another reason why quicklime is so incredibly useful. That area of effect is really, really good for cleaning up attacks outside of the map. So Austria is still on the move, but they... Ah, oh, they did take Ankara. Nuts. Oh well. We don't know what other troops they had in the region, so we can't necessarily say that that attack was pivotal. They want Lithuania, they're going to offer Finland. No. If you want to declare war on me, you are more than welcome to. But let's see if that's what you want to do. And so we have a hell of a navy they've built up. Venice has a hell of a little army over there that you've got built up. They still don't yet have a port. So none of these... These can't go anywhere unless their navy breaks out from the Adriatic, which it won't, because I've got a full stack right here. Okay, so I missed this last time. You guys go into Kabul. You guys, you may actually come down here, ready to build another army. Because you've got a Gurkha unit coming in. Plus, let's get two units of guerrilla mercenaries. New town emerges in Berra. Weavers. New port emerges in Karelia. Trading port. 
But we are getting onto the other side now, where we are. Where we've actually built almost everything that can be built. Good, 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 good. Church school in Persia. I'm going to convert the population. 1.4% at a time. Hyderabad's got a gunnery school. Now they've got an ordnance board. And there was something to upgrade, which I did spot around here somewhere, but I suppose I have missed it. Right. Let's push my rake east to see if there's any other armies to worry about. It appears not. So let's just push one army straight through towards Damascus. Push you men towards Ankara. Just to understand what the lay of the land looks like. Make sure they are replenishing. I suppose actually let's we're going after Italy let's shift some of our troops to that front got some Spanish in Bologna some Spanish right here we need to take out well, luckily, the Spanish are actually embarked, so if we push into the port, we'll push the fleet out into ours, and their fleet will die. Let's do that. Send you over to the Black Sea. What's your movement like? You can, you can drop someone over to the heel of the Italian boot. So let's get you guys up onto this fleet. Get you into Taranto. So you've bolstered our Italian front with two new armies, which is good. I don't think we really need more than that. Cool. So let's take uh, this fella. And attack the garrison of Baghdad. Bring them into the fold. Because then we want to set up on the borders of Austria, but not in Austria. Because once we once war starts with them, they will kick us out. Oops, sneezing coming. There we go. Right, so let's get this set up, and then we can knock the enemy down. Once Persia's taken and Damascus is taken, we gain ports on the Mediterranean. And we can be a lot more free with our deployment of troops from the Middle East. Put artillery on the high ground. Howitzers, they're just going to drop quick climb on all, all of their big blocks of troops. We've got a really solid battle line. We've got a good number of native troops. Get the general involved now. It's a lot of quick climb dropped on their artillery. Get the quick line focusing on their infantry blocks. With foot artillery engage this one new demi cannons. Get my infantry line running up. Garrison. Okay, so 
an Islamic sword. Actually, let's get our how it's just to go off some of these melee units. Those Janissaries are a bit spooky because they're the melee ones. Native American mercenaries open up on them. There we go, that's knocked out the enemy melee contingent. We will make sure of that though. just push through because the Janissaries look like they're trying to flank us but they're on foot so easier said than done. You just make sure these guys are shattered. Shattered. General first. Where's my Native American contingent? Get them over on the plane. Go get them, Native foes. Colonial line can also join in. Maybe the Janissaries are still permanently chasing my general down, so let's keep, get all the artillery to engage them. Excellent. Colonial line format. Bowmen on the flank. They too are shattered. Excellent. Get you men out of the way. Charge on the back of this armed populace. My bowmen engaging the fifth order. My entire cavalry wing make way. There we go, the Janissaries are coming within range again. Gunners engage the Delhi horsemen to the rear. Everyone else make ready to engage these fellows heading your way, you men about face. Oh you lucky they missed. Engage! chase them down. The battle is over. The victory is ours. These become our citizens now. Let us not be unduly harsh to them. Good. Let's get a lot of repairs done. 
You, who are now harrying Basra, now become the guard ship. So what have they got? Coffee house, coffee house, school, get rid of the school, that's for darn sure. Get rid of one coffee house because we're going to want to upgrade it to be a religious building. Nice. Good work, Fabio. Yeah, just push towards Damascus. You may as well make no bones about it. Just push up towards them. A couple of these armies march up to port. You push up towards Austria. We just keep on running. Uh, uh. Okay, so on the Italian front, or the Spanish front. Yeah, let's get you guys up here. I want to take Damascus, then I'll start to focus on this front. We've got Genoa, Milan, and Venice. We can knock out. Plus, we've got the Genoan uh, pocket, as it were, on Corsica that needs annihilating. Good, good, good. Mm. Don't like all those stacks running around. Still, I don't think there's much to worry about. Uh, decline. Sending more of their scholars around. What will they offer us today? Trinidad and Tobago, Finland. That itself isn't a bad offer. Because Trinidad and Tobago would be it would be very easy to take back. But at the same but at the same time, it's now the, just the principle of the matter. I do not want to give it back. I do not want to take it back, rather. It is now mine. And I am going to take it. I'm going to keep it rather. Oh, Genoa's you know, it may fall to the to Savoy, which would be fine. Come on, let me in, let me in. Construction report. Good, good, good. Buildings. That's the point. I haven't checked if I, if I now have zero requirement for research. Like five turns till I get sheet lead cartridges. Okay, are you the damaged one? Get back to Europe. You are the damaged one. Get back to Europe. So that was the other fleet arrives. More recruitment, just let that happen. Church school, and then get a whole bunch of upgrades. See? Keep on going. Yeah, you guys just knock out these these two uh, stragglers. Their empire truly has reached the end of its useful life. Yeah, they're not losing that. They've dug in with a good number of troops. Senor. 
Yeah, if one else, just keep just keep running, I guess. Although I should really start the offensive. So let's begin. Step one. Fabian Coelho. We will fight this manually, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of Portugal. Cheers everyone.